Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Ant Devlog series. This is a part 4 and I'm just quickly going to change the settings a little bit so you could hear me better. University year is finally over, which means I am able to continue work on this rather amazing game. So I have been doing quite a bit of work and as you can see I'm playing around with the controller, just checking out if the UI works properly, which it does. Which is good. So I've been messing around with the new mechanics and new ideas that I um, have been coming up with and at the same time I had a chance to gain some professional feedback for this kind of game and I received quite valid points about all these puzzles and mechanics. So before I start showing all the mechanics I just want to say that I rebuilt dev scene completely and I introduced new mechanics and other work in this very scene. As you may already tell I have created some extra sprites from the grass and I included extra flowers. This was suggested by one of the commenters on previous devlog which I really appreciate for the feedback. Now of course if it feels like there's too many of them please do let me know. So the other thing that has been changed is the player movement itself. The walk speed has been reduced, the crouch speed is still the same, the sprint as well has been slightly reduced but it's still fast enough. The other thing is that I introduced an input for, to crouch if you're pressing downwards. I haven't added the jump for up input because that would mess up a ladder mechanic. I decided just to include the crouch. So the ledge grab is still the same, crouching is still the same. In terms of its interactions, uh, everything works the same. That's the, the route. Then we're gonna have a uh, platform right over here. This part I will try to change a little bit because some testers actually got confused in this part. What I was trying to indicate in this area is that this area is not interactable in terms of painting tiles with grass. This is supposed to be like a dead tiles that you can't do anything about. Just an indication like this is not explorable area and so probably creating new tiles will be my goal. But if you think that it's alright, feel free to leave some comments about this part as well. Next part is the crate, which is obvious. Uh, very basic puzzle to solve. Just grow a crate to climb it and go up here. This is the perfect position where I can explain what I did with the background. I got a comment that I should, after all, include a parallax in the scene. And as you can see, it looks slightly better. However, it only moves on the x-axis or only to left and right because I noticed that making it move up and down would definitely ruin the whole thing because of how these trees are drawn and I think it doesn't look that horrible and it shouldn't really cause any motion sickness and as you can see there's a lot of flowers over here. The ladder is still the same, nothing unusual. The reduced walk speed uh, makes a lot of difference. Before players used to be able to just use a simple movement to get from this side to the other side but now they have to sprint to basically overjump this part otherwise they won't gonna reach it and this is one of the newest mechanics that I have added into my game so the whole point of this mechanic was to have something that is blocking the tiles and your goal is to lift it to reach these tiles underneath so I created this stone wall kind of a object which can be lifted by planting two seeds on each side once you plant the other one the whole thing will be lifted and of course the player can be lifted with it as well. So it acts sort of like a platform. There are quite few uses for this mechanic and I think it fits really really well. Mainly because later during the game I will try to introduce a ruins scenes because just having plain dirt levels is gonna get quite boring to look at so a change of scenery will increase the enjoyability of the game and just visual aspects and the other thing is that people will have to pay attention to the maps and more exploration because i will try to include some secret rooms as suggested by one of the professional developers. I added something like this, which is a tile map on top, and later on I will try to make this whole layer transparent once the player enters this scene, or maybe it could be kept just like that. It depends what people will think about it. So if you have any suggestions about this part, feel free to leave any comments. So now you can climb on this wall, then using sprint you can just jump on this part and climb up. And now I'm going to introduce a new change to this 
gate. During the playtesting, uh, I noticed that this part for the gate with tiles was a bit too complex. People were not thinking and all they were focusing on painting these tiles. So I decided to change this mechanic completely and introduce the interactable roots. And it will still act as a code, but instead of just stepping on the tiles here, players will have to interact with these roots. And all these roots are color coded, so I hope color blindness won't be a massive issue. If I'll just stay here and use the green one and interact with it, the root will lit up, so it has states. It has zero active lights, one active light, two active lights, or three active lights. And if player activates the required number on the door, for example, like here there's two on the green, this gate will toggle on the lights showing that, okay, this part is active. So I think that color blindness should not be an issue in this state. As you can see, these routes work for both doors so the idea is that you can activate this door explore this part and then explore another side other side will be closed so you just finish this section here and then just return back here reopen the other door and then you can just simply finish the level. That's what I've got so far. A simple 2D puzzle relaxed game. I just want to create a very, very relaxed game. Finish this level. That's it. A lot of more content will be coming soon. I'm still waiting for one of my friends to produce me audio for this game and I hope that it will fit this game quite well. And I'll just keep messing up with the mechanics, gather some professional feedback and see where this game will take. So I can't promise you exact date of the release on Steam. I'm still working on the Steam page. It does require quite a lot of material to create in order to publish it, at least a demo version. I'm still learning how to actually use it because I still have no idea how the whole steam upload still works so i'll be messing around with that as i said again if you have any suggestions or any comments please do leave them in the comments down below i am looking forward to see what you think about this game so far so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next game dev vlog see ya